Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2, The Old Gods, as uh, Vasta Yautlan. Um, I'm still trying to make the Kingdom of Sweden, and I have found a way to do that from thinking. Well, I uh, remembered to look, look, look at the numbers. Um, I need two duchy titles, and I need to hold 51%. Um, okay. It may not be. <laughs> uh, I may be able to get 50% easily. Um, hopefully, Smith the Auto will, will die off. Um, the first two targets that I need to hit to get to 11 holdings um, is uh, Gotland. And I must uh, turn on my brother and take his title. Um, but then th that leaves me the uh, option of going after Shellen, which I don't necessarily think is the best idea. Um, but I'm going to definitely try that. Or I can hope that by the time uh, I'm done fighting, King Bjorn will have passed away. And uh, the uh, Svithyard will and Livonia will be split up uh, between his sisters. Alright, so the first piece of business is declaring war on Gotland for the s a subjugation war here. Stop the troops and grab my fleets, which I also not really um, realize how many fleets I have uh, now, so that will definitely... Um, figure into what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, I definitely want to do some raiding and since I have the means I may as well. But first my goal of taking over Sweden. I think Gotland is a title as well so that might uh, make Give me that uh, two duchy requirement. Oh, look at Svithyard. Looks like they've picked up some. Uh... Oh, let's see. Ever since arrived in Vasta Outland, there's never been a shortage of troops. So they're attacking in a prepared invasion of England, King Bjorn. Interesting. Yiland, too. Uh, I think that's even more interesting, personally. So let's see what our money is right now. I can finance these troops. Uh, my liege, I wish to intercede on behalf of one of your prisoners, Linda. <laughs> no. Uh, actually, I'm going to not diplomatically explain why I cannot. Thank you, Linda. Not going to happen. You're very cute. So I'll be able to fund these troops, uh, these mercenaries, for a little while. I may decide to send my ships home. I think that they're a large portion of uh, my upkeep. Looks like my wife is also uh, embroiled in something. Uh, let's see. Savasa so Outland. I might go for castle infrastructure. See, town infrastructure is up already. So let's go for castle infrastructure. And I'm going to go for noble customs, improve relations with my vassal feudal lords. They should like me a little bit more. Oh, and I'm going to invest in heavy infantry. The next one will be cavalry. Um, I don't have that many. Personal levies. Well, I have 142, but I have uh, a lot more heavy infantry than cavalry. So, decided that uh, maybe that would be the best way to go. Hope I'm not wrong. And uh, as uh, suggested, I am thinking about doing a prepared invasion of my own. Um, I really would like to create uh, the Kingdom of Sweden. 
even though it's taken so long to get there. Oh, also, to do a prepared invasion, I need a thousand uh, prestige. So, all right. Horalder claims that he would be a better chancer than Trigv. Uh, let's see. Would you be? Ooh, 18. Oh, wait. What? What? Ch what? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Trig. Yeah, yeah. You're now my chancellor. Much better. If only I could get a general worth its worth his salt. So what's my brother doing right now? Nothing. Sitting on his rear end. Ah, uh, Hooker asks, since all y'all die anyway, why to be so hassled about life? I'm gonna have him be... but what about enjoyment? Uh, temperate is nice, but uh, that's not what I'm thinking my son should be. He's gained the gluttonous trait, dude. Oh wow, look at my son. Marshall. Alright. Our mercenaries have worked out very well. So now I have Gotland. I also have a claim on the petty kingdom of Smaland, which I will be using. My domain is too big. What's my brother doing now? Defending against the Ocellian League Independence War. Oh, he's helping my wife. I think it might be time to stab him in the back. I bet my wife's gonna ask me for her for my help m almost immediately. Uh, let's see. Chancellor! Oh, you're ambitious! I was gonna give you some land, but I can't give it to an ambitious person. Virtil! I'm gonna grant you a landed title. County of Gotland. How do you like that? You know, this looks good. This looks good. Um, I think my fleet levies. Oh no! All right, brother. Buster Gotland needs you to know your place. Sweden. Yeah, that'll only make three. That'll make eleven, but I need fifty-one percent. Oh, so rough. Let's do this. I won't have any help from anyone else, though. So. I.e., my my wife, my lovely wife. Sorry, brother. Nothing personal. Politics. It's all politics. What just happened? Queen Malfrith of Smolland. Where did you come from? Oh, actually, you're all the way up. All the way up there. Not gonna worry about you too much. Alright, let's get everybody, all of my vassals to come down here. Send my troops home. Oh, looks like he's going to try to... let's uh... Hold him off here at Helsinglan, or let's regroup in Helsinglan. This was how it should have been, brother. I have no mercy on you. Okay. 
false sun. Cancel. Uh, we should be able to, uh, well... Should be able to take out his forces. And what kind of... Yeah, the opposition's gonna be strong no matter where we strike. And I'm sorry, wife, that he could not help you. He's busy fighting me. Alright, Bjorn. Whenever you're ready. This should be interesting. So, Rikisa will get Svith... As it stands, Rikisa will get, get Svithyard. <gasps> oh my god! A little 900 men got torn to shreds. Send you guys home. We'll capture Kalmarhus and then deal with his little band. Oh. Kidnap her? That's disgraceful. Oh, Harder, did you just die in battle? Oh. Alright. Star was on the rise. Alright, 50% down. You know what? I'm gonna attack Shellen here. Reduce his forces. And my son Freer lacks a guardian. I'll have him educated by another martial character. Gold. And try to eat up Shellen's forces. Uh, my son Hoker is not exerting himself in his duties, so I'm starting to despair. No, we're gonna try to make. I already thought he was already diligent. Gluttonous, lawful. Talk to him about being diligent. Ah, he's getting the diligent trait. Exactly. Now, why would his gentleman get involved in my war? Oh, he better not get away. Alright, if I can handle him like this next time. Or at any time. I won't be afraid of uh, attacking him. Get rid of these 21 soldiers. Oh, looks like he's gonna get away. And back to more. And our money is going down. Send our troop, our uh, ships home, fleets home, and see if that helps. And Shellen has another thing: defending against the Altmarkian conquest of Verle. Good, good. Let's 
So we're getting near that thousand prestige. I wonder if I spin the prestige in order to create that invasion force. I hope not. 80%! Oh, my prisoner Alvor is complaining about her dark cell. Let the old lady rot. We have one more territory to take. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Come on, Smithyard, at any time. Queen Rikissa, oh! Oh, really? Thorfinn is no longer Marshal. Ingold takes his place. And somehow Svithyad continues to be. So Rakissa grabbed that. And Ufleder of Sudamonland. And what about your sister? Let's see, King Bjorn. Two sisters, Livonia. Oh, okay, so she just got this little piece of Livonia. Alright, so I chose the right thing here. It's alright. We've got further plans. We've got further plans. And Shellen is uh, going to be weakened after this. What's my wife doing? Oh, my brother. After years of careful planning, Odor from the court of Ingjald of Angermanland has raised an army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to go off and carve out a realm of his own. Well, good luck with that. All right. So close. Uh, what else do we need? Okay, we need one more, and then probably have to go to Marienburg. My brother would just give up his foolishness. Uh, we would not have to go that far. I had to break up a fight between my son Hroker and another child today. Hroker's heart is filled with envy, intrigue, no diplomacy. Talk to him about kindness. He's gained the kind trait. Gluttonous and kind. Brave, but wroth. I like him. My son Hrain hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. All right. Good. Ah, yes. Finally. I have become Chief of Varen. All right. And I control 50%. I need one more territory. Where is my brother? Well, thank goodness, he's not holding any land. <laughs> My family. Tyke of Marienburg. Ah. Enjoy your little holding. Let's see what else we can get here. Sterla Froni. Oh, you are horrid. Let's invite a holy man. A real Viking. Anlof Anlofer. Oh wow. Why? Another holy man. 
And we'll invite Noble as well. Arnfast. Horrible. Whoops. Thorstein. You're just f fair to middling. <laughs> I'll grant you our end here. Send my armies home. I'm going to turn around and attack Jelen. What is this? Alphamer? And the subjugation of Lithuania? Okay, here we go. Claim Alphamer. from Gotland? Awesome. That's quite alright. We don't need that many. Oh, this could be it. How much do we need to create the kingdom? Homegirl of Ulan has raised an army of exiles. Two hundred and twenty seven gold has brought my brother in. I'll call my wife. Oh, and she has called me. We accept. First, you help me with my war. Ah, oh, no, the glorious army. Swarms across Sweden. Ah, Linda, good. You're out of my hair, although you hate me. Hmm. So I make this kingdom title should uh, make things interesting. I can deal with uh, my sons breaking up the territory within a Dajir kingdom and fighting over it. That's fine with me. It does weaken the ruler, the king, a lot, admittedly. Ooh. Holmfrid. No. You're not desirable at all. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. Daughter was born, my niece. What's my wife doing? Oh, invest in a technological advance. Hmm, invest in town infrastructure. Improved keeps, perhaps? Castle fortification. Church infrastructure. Church town. Temple tax. Let's work on our economics. Invest in popular custom. Improved relations with vassal burgers. Let's go with that. Oh, cultural flexibility. Acceptance of those of a different culture. Let's go with popular customs for now. Oh, look at that! My domain size grew. How old am I? 33. Still have a little bit of time yet. 
Truces are expiring. It's Tyke of Marienburg. We got a little bit of a glimpse of what uh, we're up against. Doesn't look like much. Especially uh, since Shellen has all this going on inside of his borders or his war. garrison's butt and we'll start assaulting the city of Falkenberg and the city of Holmstadt, Temple of Holmstadt. Kroker Berritsen is now of legal, legal age. She's become a mastermind theologian. Not bad martial skills. Alright, let's find you a good match, if possible. Um, we want you having children right away. Let's see, what about Jorvik? His wife, my half sister? No. Sigrid, Thorgil's daughter. She might be a good, a good wife. Horrible diplomacy. Hmm. Thinking maybe Jorvik. But that's six years that my son will have to go without a wife. I'm not really uh, happy with that. What about the bastard Afmunsos? Don't have to worry about them for a while. Grand Principality of Novgorod, do you have anybody? Oh, why do we just keep taking the old ladies? I just don't understand it. It's time to assault them. Uh, let's see. Blessings upon your house. I've discovered a plot where Thorstein. So to fabricate a claim on the Jarl the Dome of Swollen. End your plot, sir. A lot of war going on. Come on, Jelland. Jelland. Know when you're licked. Oh, Lithuania. Can you arrange a betrothal between... No. Yep, must not marry an infidel. So I need to find a nice Norse female. I'll arrange a marriage. Let's try to find someone kind of balanced. Alvor, Cordier, and Veli? No. Let's start with the age modifier. Alright. Legal. <laughs> Legal. Let's start with young and capable. Uh, might take Bjorg. Would you marry my son? Sure. And we'll take the gold. To fund my war effort.
Anytime you want to, sir, you can surrender. Burger of Vermeland? We can f call in the following allies. Chief of Oriel. Mm, you're kind of far away. Odor Yama has the uh, Yamalan subjugation of Norway on Frederick of Hydemark. Odor of Yamtalan. Oh, oh good. Queen Rekissa of Svithyard. Got an heir. Wonder if she could be murdered. Yes, yeah, she could. Let's see if I can convince some good, fine Norsemen to uh, take care of her for me. The fall of the House of Monso. All right, this army rears its head. Let us go and remove his harder. Ah. My co-conservator, Mayor Hemming of Sigtuna, has let me know that Queen Rakisa of Svithyod will die by poison wine at an upcoming banquet. Classic. Oh, my wife won. She's creating a nice little power base. Oh, you chase him down. Succeeded in a plot to kill Rakisa. She died without knowing the name of her killer. I will celebrate with beer. King Hralder. My little son, Hrein, always has his nose in the scriptures and spends all his time among priests. Such a bright little child. I'll take a zealous child. Where are they going? Vermeland. Let us follow them. Um, also, Ingomar. Oh, wow. You've become ambitious. And that's what I get for letting you be taught by someone else. Taking a prisoner. Hjalmar of Himmel. Anytime you want to. You could end this. There it is. Peace. King Buried becomes Thorder's new liege. I accept. And. Finally. After all of that warring. We've come to it. I'll send my men home. And I will finally crown myself the King of Sweden. For a bargain. Finally. Well, there it is. So. I'll lose uh, the Jarl Dums, quote unquote. Uh, but they should all stay within uh, my power. Um, at least 
they all should stay in my vassal, or the vassal of my son. Very, very good. Well, what do we have as other... Whoa! Okay, anyways. Uh, for right now, that will do it. Oh, uh, I am so happy. I finally reached my goal. And uh, the Smith Yard is uh, having some issues. So I can start uh, gobbling them up. And I might start with the uh, holy first holy site of Oakland. Alright guys, if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode very soon. Thanks for watching.